Sheikh, we know that uh, it is recommended to go to a pillar when the Imam is already settled in that pillar and it is wrong to move with the Imam. Uh, you said in a video that if we cannot see the Imam, then we have to move after the Imam completes saying his takbir of movement. But my question is if I cannot see the Imam and if I sync my movement with the uh, Imam saying of the takbir of movement and I move for the next pillar with the Imam together, would it have any impact on the validity of the prayer? There is nothing wrong in that, inshallah, because Allah does not hold us accountable to more than what we can bear. If I can't see the Imam, and if I don't know what position the Imam in, the only thing I can do is to act like the scholars have said, that you move after the Imam has finished the takbir. If his movement is slow or he is saying it earlier before moving, this is his fault, not yours, and there is nothing more you can do, inshallah. And I hope this answers your question.